Here is a side view of an MRI of a patient with substantial degenerative changes and a degenerative spondylolisthesis or slip at 4-5 and the central canal is also blocked and that is called spinal stenosis. Again, reading this MRI, we see the spinal cord here which ends there and the nerve roots which come out of the spinal cord. Again, the white is cerebral spinal fluid which is water. We see again the vertebra and we see again the discs. These discs here are quite degenerative and if we look carefully we're going to see that this L4 vertebra has slid forward on L5. That slip is called a degenerative spondylolisthesis and we can look at the spinal canal and see that the spinal canal in this area is clogged up essentially and quite narrowed and that is deleterious to the nerves. We can look at this with a top-down view and again the yellow line here is where we're making our cut. Here's the spinal canal. We can see all of the nerve roots here. We looked at the facets before. These are degenerative facets and if we march up the spine and watch the size of the canal we'll see that the canal narrows substantially right here and literally the contents of the entire spinal canal are in this tiny little triangular area. As soon as we pass that level up the spinal canal becomes normal size and the nerves spread out like they were designed to spread out. So this particular patient right here at the 4-5 level has severe spinal stenosis because one vertebra has slid forward on the other compressing the nerve substantially at that level.